So with the game board ready, we can now place a snake on it. So let's have a look where we can place it. So I want it kind of in the middle of the board. So the head will face up. So the head itself will have the coordinates of 5 and 5 for X and Y. Obviously, we still have to account for the size of the pixels, which is 35. And I want two body pieces or two squares of body. So they will be positioned right along the head. So our X axis will be 5 for each of the body. However, we will move each of them down along the Y axis. So the first body part will start at 6 and the second one will have the coordinates of 7. And again, we have to account for the size of the pixels, which is 35. So this is the coordinates where I will place the head and two pieces of the body. So let's do the initial snake body and head. And let's start with the head. So we need to place these into our snake X and Y coordinates array. So our snake X and Y. And the first one is the head that's going to be in the zero index of the coordinates. It's always on the front. And we have now X and Y axis because this is a structure with X and Y axis available to us. So when I press period, I have available the X and Y fields. So I am using X for the head and it's going to be equal to 5. And the Y coordinates will also be equal to 5. So snake X and Y with the 0 Y coordinate will equal to 5. In the coordinates X equals 5 and Y equals 5, we will draw the head. So now let's do the body. So that will be in the indexes of 1 and 2. So snake X and Y with the index of 1. And again, we need to set the X and Y coordinates. So the X coordinates for the first body part will of course be 5. Because again, we are moving just down and along the same X axis. However, we will move it one index down. So our snake X and Y coordinates for the first body part on Y axis will now equal 6. Again, if you look at this, this is the first body part. We are moving along X axis, but now we are on the sixth index on the Y coordinate because we are moving down away from the head. And let's do the third one, and that one will be in coordinates 5, 7. So snake X and Y with the index of 2, which is the second body part of the X index, again, is 5. However, the Y index will be 7. So snake X and Y for the Y coordinates will equal 7. So this is the head. This is the first body part. And this is the second body part. So now we have the coordinates where the snake is going to be. And now we can actually draw those images in those coordinates. So let's use the G dot draw image like we did before. And the image we want is coming obviously from image list dot images. So let's have a look. I'll click the triangle again, choose images. And the first I want the head. And you can see the head has the index of five and the body will have the index of 4. So the one for the head, we want index of 5. And the X coordinates, as you can see, like we said in here, are 5 for each of the body parts, as well as the head. So we'll use 5 along the X axis, but we have to account for the 35 pixels width and height of the pixel itself. The head also starts on 5 coordinates for the Y axis, so again, we'll just multiply it by 35. So this is the head. And now let's do the first body part. So it's going to be G dot draw image. Once again, from the image list. And this time the body part is index four. And we start on the five multiplied by 35 for our X axis because they don't change. What changes is our Y axis. And we multiply six by 35 in order to draw the first body part. Remember, that's where our snake is being positioned for the first body part. Now, this is the actual drawing. This is just keeping track of where our snake is. But these coordinates obviously have to match where we 
draw the snake on our game board. So on the y axis it's 6, therefore we have it 6 as well here, and we account for the 35 pixels. There's no 35 pixels over here because this is an array, it simply has rows and columns, but this is an actual drawing the pixels on the board, and therefore we are drawing 35 pixels for each of the images. So this is the first body part, and the second one, I'm just gonna copy this, because it's gonna be very similar. We once again keep the x axis the same, so 5 multiplied by 35, but this time you can see we want it on the 7th position or on the y, so we'll multiply 7 by 35, and this is the second body part. So let's see what we get. So here's the snake, and you can see it's along the x axis, and the y axis moves down with each of the body parts. So now we have to, of course, place this into an array for our game board field. Because remember, we have to keep track where our snake is, so we have our snake x and y coordinates, but we also have to know what field is on the game board. And what I mean by that, if you go and see the game board fields, we have the free snake and bonus. And on these coordinates, when we draw the snake, we want to set the fields to snake. And that way we can track if the snake is hitting a wall or if it's hitting itself. Because that would obviously cause the game over. So our game board field and the coordinates are the same. So the first one for the head are 5, 5. And we'll set it to snake. So it's going to be game board fields dot snake. And the game board field for the coordinates 5, 6, which is the first body part, again will be snake because it's part of the snake. And finally the third one, game board field with the 5 and 7 coordinates, will also equal the game board fields dot snake. So this is our initial position of the snake. Next, let's set the direction in which the snake goes initially, and we are going up. So our direction will equal directions dot up. That's our initial direction that the snake faces. And because our snake will increase the length as it eats the bonuses, we need to set the initial length. So the, our snake length will equal 3. It has the head and two body parts. And finally, let's display some bonuses. And let's just say I want four bonuses initially, so I'm going to use a for loop. And it's just going to be a simple loop that loops four times starting from 0, i is less than 4, and i++, plus plus. and with each iteration I will randomly generate a bonus, but I'm going to do that in a method that I will call bonus. So we will create this method soon. For now let's just comment it out and see if we can run it. And yeah, it loaded, everything built, so we are good. So next let's code the bonus itself.